Hi, I'm Al, and in today's Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to talk to you about a few common questions we get about wheel adapters. So every once in a while we get a phone call from somebody who's gotten a great deal on a set of wheels. They've either gotten it from a friend, a swap meet, or a third party website. The problem is the bolt pattern won't match up to the vehicle. Now that's where wheel adapters come into play and today I'm going to go over a few things that you need to be aware of when you use wheel adapters. But first there's some vocabulary that you need to refresh yourself on. Uh, some of those vocabulary words include backspacing which is the distance from the back edge of the rim to the mounting flange of the wheel. The offset which is the distance from the mounting flange to the center line of the wheel and then also the bolt pattern of the wheel. Now if you're not familiar with those vocabulary terms we've actually done videos on those so I encourage you to watch those videos. Now back to the wheel adapters. First thing I want to point out is that wheel adapters actually come in a few different thicknesses. Uh, here are just a few of the examples I have. This one's a half an inch. Uh, this one's an inch and this one's an inch and a quarter in thickness. So now how does that thickness play into bolting a wheel and wheel adapter combo up to your vehicle? Well essentially it changes the backspacing of your wheel. Let me show you how it works. So on this 20 inch Monster Energy wheel it has a 5x5 five five bolt pattern and Let's say I wanted to hook it up to an F-150 which has a 5 by 4 and a half inch bolt pattern. I would use a wheel adapter like this one. So it would easily just bolt right up. But like I mentioned it's going to change that backspacing. And in the measure of the backspacing, as we know, we take a straight edge and a ruler, go across the wheel and we measure down. Without the adapter I have a backspacing of 4 and a half inches. Now I repeat that process after I put the wheel adapter on. And here I have a three and a quarter inch backspacing. So essentially I've pushed the wheel out by an inch and a quarter from the hubs of my truck. And what that can actually do is give you a wider stance, some increased stability, but you also run the risk of having that wheel and tire combination run up into your fender. It does change the look of your vehicle. That is something else you need to be aware of. You are going to have the wheels and tires pushed out a little bit. Now some ways that you can combat that when you're looking at wheel and tire combinations is to get a lower backspacing or a higher offset or a combination of both. Uh, the higher offset you're going to find in a lot of late model wheels, uh, things that have been hooked up to late model vehicles that people are trying to get rid of. And the higher backspacing is just something you need to look out for on individual case by case basis. Now if you have any other questions about wheels or tires or fitment, things like that, I encourage you to watch our other Quick Flix videos here. If you have any other questions that we may not have answered, please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.